This is a video on how to replace the belt and deck or head roller on a Generation 2 S-Series treadmill. First step is to remove the Phillips head screws located here and here. The number two Phillips screwdriver. Next you want to use a quarter inch hex key to extract the tail roller bolts on either side. Go ahead and remove the end caps. Go ahead and lift up the handrail boots. We're going to completely remove this screw here for the side bed cover located on both sides. Next we're going to remove the side bed covers. Now we're going to remove the finger guards on both the right and left hand side using a 532nd hex key. Now it's time to go ahead and pull out the tail roller. Now we're going to go ahead and remove the motor cover. Pop this little shroud off here. Use your Phillips head screwdriver to remove the front two screws located here. Okay, now it's time to remove the idler tensioning spring. How we're going to do that is using a large Phillips head screwdriver to relieve the spring itself. Use your quarter inch hex key to remove the head roller bolt. Now it's time to walk off the drive belt. You want to leave it like this, like a hook, so that way you can use it to grab and pull out the head roller. Go ahead and pull out the head roller. Remove all four Delwyn rods using a 530 seconds hex key on all four corners of the deck. Now it's time to remove the belt and deck. Once you have the deck completely out, it's always a good idea to check the deck rubber underneath the deck just to make sure that there's nothing cracked or that it's not damaged. Now it's time to install the new belt and deck. The Star Trek treadmill belts are actually directional. To ensure that your belt is actually traveling in the correct direction, make sure that the arrows found on the Star Trek logo are facing backwards towards the tail roller. Now it's time to install the Delvin rods on all four corners of the deck. And use your 532nd hex key to tighten them up. Once you've installed the Delvin rods, just go ahead and take a glance up and down either side of the deck just to make sure that, it's no, that the space is even and that it won't rub the frame. Now it's time to hook up the head roller. Make sure you have your drive belt already in there. You can use your hand or a uh, Phillips head screwdriver just to turn the shaft and make sure that the hole lines up so you can install your head roller bolt. Go ahead and install your head roller bolt. Now it's time to route the drive belt. What you want to do is, is go small to big. So route the, route the drive belt around the motor pulley first. Then walk it on and use the motor pulley to walk it onto the head roller. Make sure that the grooves are even on both sides. Make sure the poly V's match on both sides. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and hook up the idler's tensioning spring by using the same large screwdriver. Just wrapping it around. That's it. Now it's time to install the tail roller. Make sure that the tail roller shaft, the holes are lined up so that way you can throw in your tail roller screws. Now it's time to install the uh, left and right end caps. Go ahead and hook up your tail roller screw 
Make sure you get it pre-threaded into the tail roller. And install the two Phillips head screws. Now that we have the tail roller in, now it's time to install the finger guards. Make sure to leave the finger guards loose so that way you have enough gap here and between the, the tail roller. So do not tighten these down fully until you have the belt fully tensioned. Go ahead and install the motor cover. After you've installed the two Phillips screws here and here, go ahead and put on your cover. Okay, now it's time to properly track and tension the belt. Right now what you hear here is the noise of the tail roller rubbing against the finger guard. So what we're going to do is make sure that the belt is A, tracking in between the crowns of the tail roller and get it nice and tensioned. Once you have the belt properly tensioned and tracked, perform a stomp test to confirm that the belt is properly tensioned. Now it's time to tighten up the finger guards on both sides. Make sure that you give proper spacing here in between the finger guard itself and the back of the deck. Also make sure that it's not touching the tail roller here. Now it's time to install the side bed covers. Install your Phillips head screws, lower the boot and it's all done.